What is an elf? A mischievous creature, always in the human affairs? Or is it simply a creature longing for attention, needing to be loved? Maybe their mischievousness is just a cry for attention, their magical and mystical abilities longing to be freed. Alrighty guys, good morning. It's T here from TNE Daily and we're gonna jump right into the tutorial. I know you guys were really feeling that intro. So serious, right? <laughs> Alrighty guys, so first you're going to need these two elf ears. And now I did make these from clay that you can find at your Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any craft store. And I want you guys to take note that one is the left ear and one is the right ear. With that little indention right there, um, you want them to be both inward and pointing at each other. That's how you know that they're gonna fit your ears. And you can also put them up against your face and check from time to time. But that's about the shape you want them to look. You want them to be nice and pointed at the top and you want them to be nice and round at the bottom to look at in elf ear. You guys, you can, you know, Google elf ears, look at a photo reference, but that's essentially the size that you want them to be and the shape. They don't have to be perfect, but you do wanna make them pretty similar. Alrighty guys, now it's time for the fun part, the liquid latex. You're gonna need these really cheap makeup sponges. You can find them from the dollar store, but you wanna use something that you're not afraid of ruining, you guys, because you will not be able to reuse these. <laughs> so I recommend getting these little sponges from the dollar store. And in case you guys were wondering, this is what the package of the modeling clay that I used looks like. I just um, used whatever clay I had left around the house, so that's why one is white and one is gold. Really guys, it absolutely has nothing to do with this tutorial. And next, obviously, you guys, you're going to need liquid latex. This is Monster Liquid Latex. You can get it off of Amazon or at any FX specialty store. And this is the latex we're gonna be using. And you're gonna wanna make sure that the latex does not stick to your elf ears, so we're gonna use petroleum jelly for this step. And you can also use Vaseline, which is well, essentially about the same thing. And you just wanna go ahead and put it all over the ears especially you guys in the crevices. The latex will stick to those crevices, so you really need to make sure that you put that petroleum jelly all over it. And please excuse my Buddha belly there. I just had a Chipotle burrito and I was rocking a food baby. So that's all we're gonna say about that one. And now it's time for the latex part, you all. So we're gonna go ahead and dip the sponge in the latex as you saw there. And then we're gonna go ahead and start applying. Now you wanna do an even layer at a time. Not too thick, otherwise it won't dry properly. So just a thin, even layer all around to make sure you get around the elf ears, kind of, kind of creating this outside base. You wanna make sure you're filling in all those gaps like you see me doing here so that there are no spaces in between, you guys. Otherwise, your latex will not dry altogether. And again, making sure you get really good into those crevices so that the latex forms around that little ear low part thing we just created. Now, after you've created this thin layer, you're gonna wanna go ahead and let it dry. Now, if you have a fantastical life where you have all the time in the world, you can just let it air dry. <laughs> But for those of us that, that like to speed things up a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and grab a hair dryer and we're going to speed up the process a little bit. So after we have put the latex on both of the ears, like you see me doing here, I grab my hair dryer and we dry it away. And then you're just gonna keep repeating this step, you guys. It is tedious. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it will take you quite a while but you know, you're gonna need about 10 to 15 layers of latex on this if you want it to be very thick and sturdy. And finally, three days later, no, I'm just kidding guys. Well, kind of. <laughs> it doesn't take three days to do latex, you guys, but as you can see, I'm wearing a different shirt and all that jazz, cause life got a hold of me and now we're back to the tutorial. So, the elf ears are completely finished, as you can see. So guys, after the liquid latex had completely finished drying and I liked the way the front of the elf ear looked, I turned it around on its to its backside and I just put two thin layers of liquid latex just around the base, you guys, just to create little folds around my ears um, and a place to put the liquid latex to stick them to my head. 
Now you can see here, I'm using my fancy dancy glittery scissors that I got from Le Dollar Store, and I'm cutting the edges or the excess latex off and really trying to smooth down those edges. Now guys, please, please be careful and only cut off the excess because if you cut off too much, well, you know, you all are very bright. You figured out that you will cut your latex and ruin your ear. And that's no good for anybody, all that hard work. So just be careful, you guys. Just cut off the excess. Anything that you find bothersome, you know, it's, this is really just cosmetic, so cut off what you feel the need to and then move on. Don't get too overzealous with it, guys, all right? Choppy choppy, no extra choppy choppy. Alrighty guys, and now it is finally time to apply the ears because we're ready to do our makeup. So you want to carefully, as you see I'm doing here, take it off the mold. So pull that mold out very gently. Look at we made an ear, you guys. Yay! <laughs> so we're just going to pull out the mold, put it off to the side, and then get in those crevices really gently. And excuse my thinking tongue because that's just what I do when I'm thinking, y'all. <laughs> so, yep, just roll it on out. Roll that piece. I definitely wouldn't pull because you chance the, um, you know, you're chancing breaking your latex. So just be really gentle with that, you guys. Now, we're going to go in with the liquid latex again to apply the ear to our face. So we're just going to put a thin layer on where we want the ear to stick to our face, as you see here. Then we're just gonna go ahead and put the liquid latex on the, another little sponge and apply it to our ear. So apply it to any skin that you want it to stick to. Please be careful not to get your little pelitos, your hairs, all right? <laughs> because they will, they will hurt. Now go ahead and push the ear onto the areas where you put the latex and just hold it there. All right, you only need to hold it for a few seconds and then it will stick. That's it, you guys. You have officially applied the ear to your head. Now go ahead and apply the other ear. And now we're gonna go in with that handy dandy latex again. And we're going to make this little base, if you will, or this little transition area from the elf ear to our skin. So it just looks a little bit more natural. Looks like it's part of our face. You only need about two or three layers of this. And again, going in with the hair dryer, drying it in between, making sure it's completely dry before you apply the next layer. And now we're gonna go in with my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in 857 Golden Tan. And I'm gonna use my Real Technique sponge to apply this. And we're going to go and apply it to our ears. And that transition latex that we just created. But we're just gonna do this on the bottom half of the ears because we're gonna be doing different colors on the top of the ear. We're also gonna apply this foundation to the bottom half of our face. So right about where the nose ends. So where my nostrils are, that's about as high as we'll go. And there's that thinking tongue again. <laughs> and make sure you get in those crevices right there of the ear at the bottom. Use the pointer end of the Real Technique sponge or just the tip of your brush, whatever you're using. But just make sure you really get in those areas. Alrighty, now we're gonna go in with Elmer's glue. Yeah, you guys read that right and heard it right. <laughs> we're going in with Elmer's glue. We're actually going to use this glue on our eyebrows. So yep, we're gonna go ahead and put that on our eyebrows so that it creates a nice base for us to put makeup on top and our eyebrows will not see through. And again, just like before, we're gonna put on a layer or two and then get out our handy dandy blow dryer. So now we're gonna go ahead and go in with this NYX concealer, you guys, and this is in the shade light to medium. And we're going to use a flat edged uh, brush by e.l.f. to apply it onto our eyebrows. And now we're gonna go in with the Wolf Face Art and FX Essentials makeup paint. I absolutely love this paint, you guys. And we're gonna go in with this purple shade right here and using the brush that it comes with, but you can use any small paintbrush that you like, we're gonna go ahead and start applying it right about in the center of our face. Then we wanna go ahead and make like these little veiny looking things coming down our face. And excuse me, I was on the phone with my husband while we were trying to figure out what to do for dinner. You know how it is, so. <laughs> so 
we're gonna go ahead and create those veins going down our face. Just in any old fashion, whatever you feel like doing, you just wanna kind of create this sad looking veiny thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring that same purple shade onto our ear, right where we left off with the foundation. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with that navy blue shade, taking it around our face, blending it into the purple and making sure we extend it onto both of the elf ears. And you're gonna wanna make it about the same height and, and um, thickness as the purple. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this turquoise lighter blue shade. The only difference we're gonna do here is that this is actually gonna go on our eyeball. Now this is eye safe paint, you guys. This is what this is used for. So please make sure that what you're using is safe for around the eyes and your face. And as you can see here, we went and did the same thing for the gray shade, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the white, and then go back again with the purple. Alrighty, now for the extra fun part, the glitter, you guys. That's just extra fine glitter that you can find at Walmart or any crafts supply store. And I'm just mixing that dark purple and that lighter purple shade from the glitter package that I got, which has like 16 different colors, you guys. So it had every color of glitter that we needed. And I was just mixing in those two shades and applying it to the first purple area. And I'm using um, spirit gum to actually apply it. This uh, Craftobian is the company who makes it, and I'm actually putting spirit gum, but you can use any kind of spirit gum, you guys, the company really doesn't matter, I'm just letting you guys know, and I'm applying the spirit gum, as you see there, and then I'm applying the glitter. Being careful to only go in sections, because the glue does dry super fast, and you should really only put the glue where you're ready to apply the glitter. And then you guys, this is what it should be looking like so far. As you guys can see, I then went in with the silver glue, glitter on top of the gray part. And then I went in with the teal light blue glitter on top of the teal light blue area. And I decided to use this duo eyelash adhesive for the glitter parts on my eyes, you guys, because you don't wanna put spirit gum on your eyeballs. And um, eyelash glue is much, much safer. So go ahead and apply a little bit of that eyelash glue onto the eyelid. And then continue to put that teal light blue shade of glitter onto your eyelid. And then do the same for the other eyelid. And you guys, this is what it should look like after I've applied the glitter. As you can see, I did the same method as we did on our face on our ears. And then we put that more, uh, more of the purple, the dark purple and the light purple mixed in with a little bit of white on the bottom half of our face. And now it's time to go in with these iron it out studs. Now these are just craft studs that you can get again at any craft store, you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and make a makeshift crown on our head. All right, now using that same eyelash adhesive, we're gonna go ahead and apply the studs to our face just like that. So you wanna start off with the first one right in the center between your eyeballs in the middle of your forehead, just like that. Hold it for a couple of seconds. So then I went ahead and made two other studs right next to the middle stud that we did and made this little like three half triangle looking thing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a stud on the side of my face like you see right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put another stud exactly on the same spot on the other side of our head. And then this is what our makeshift crown should look like, you guys. Look at how gorgeous those studs are. Just a slight curve around where our eyebrows used to be. <laughs> it's gorgeous, I absolutely love it. And now we're gonna go in with lashes cause no look is complete without lashes. I'm using those Wet n Wild Shuttershock lashes you saw and I'm gonna use my signature tweezers to apply them and that same eyelash glue that we've been using this whole time to apply them. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera you guys and I'll be right back. Now we're going to take this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and we're going to go ahead and apply that to our waterline. 
and we're actually not just going to apply it to our waterline we're going to apply it a little bit beneath our waterline almost as if we were creating a white eyeshadow underneath our eyelid because we want to create this kind of mystical elongated look and now I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara. This is Sky Rise by NYC in Jet Black, but honestly, you can use any kind of mascara. Any kind of black mascara you want to. So I'm just gonna put those on from my natural lashes up to my falsies. Then I decided to go in with these crystals. Again, you can find these at any craft store, you guys. These, all these products are pretty much really, really easy to find. And I'm going to go ahead and take two, put a little bit of eyelash glue on them, on the sticky side, and then apply them to my tear ducts. Doesn't that look gorgeous, you guys? Oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. I love it. I think it really adds to the look. Now it's time for that gorgeous purple lip color. This is by Jordana in Sweet Cream Matte in the shade Berry Souffle. It is a liquid lipstick, and we're going to just go ahead and apply that to our lips. Alrighty, so now I'm going in with this NYX gel liner in the shade Jet Black, and I'm going to use an e.l.f. small angled brush, and we're going to kind of make new eyebrows, but new artistic alien-esque eyebrows. Here we're kind of making a little loop, a little half loop, and curving it inward just like that. So as you can see, we made three of those little shapes, and then we're going to put three dots right where the curved part is, just like that. And then guys, once we've done that same step to the other side of our face on top of our other eyebrow, and I added in this, what I liked and what I thought went well with an elf look kind of wig. It's blonde, it has that gold um, headband on it, and it's just what I decided to add, but you guys can do any kind of hairstyle or wig you want. This is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this tutorial was helpful. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Let me know what you thought. Don't forget to share it with your friends and family so they don't miss out on any cool, awesome, glamorous makeup looks and FX makeup looks. And keep looking out for our FX makeup looks to come out. We have some really exciting stuff going on next week, you guys. I can't wait to share it with you all. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more episodes like this one. You all stay wonderful and have a gorgeous day.